Good morning, good morning all. I wanted to come to you guys with a real quick video. And it's dealing with the verdict that was handed down uh, by the jury on R. Kelly. Um, his, uh, his, the guilty counts. And um, it speaks to um, how constitutionally devastating it was for the judge pre-trial to deny the defense's motion involving the government detailing discovery of the chain of custody of those tapes. Because if we are to believe that R. Kelly was on those tapes uh, along with Jane, then it becomes important to determine when the tapes were actually made, you know what I'm saying, and who made them. So that's when uh, things like date and time stamps is important because um, I was listening to a, a uh, video on Freedom of Speech's channel. And, you know, one of the people that was on her panel was reading from a CBS Chicago article about the verdict. And one key thing that they said in the article is that the jurors saw clips from three videos. Now, keep in mind now, and this was determined pre-trial, the government didn't have the original tape footage that was based on the indictment from like 2002, the one that, you know, eventually ended up being the 2008 trial. The government didn't have that original footage. They stated that the footage that they did obtain, they got it from the state, which would be the state of Illinois. All right. So they couldn't explain, you know, why uh, they didn't have the original footage from that 2002 grand jury or what happened to it. They couldn't speak toward it. So that's why it was devastating for the judge you know to be like okay well the government they don't have to detail any type of chain of custody involving the tape footage that they do have so keep in mind if there's one original tape well you can't get uh, three from one unless you add on so how did an original tape that you don't have you know possession of how did you all of a sudden get three tapes and where did those three tapes came from when were they made who made those tapes because I've said plenty times before on Twitter and even in the comment section on videos on YouTube. Sure, Rashawn definitely could have been on the tapes, but that don't make those tapes CP. Why? Because it depends on when those tapes was made. You know what I'm saying? And that's where the date and the timestamps become so important because if if those dates and timestamps, and I'm not talking about an alleged date range that was in an indictment. I'm talking about, you know, you got like a forensic expert that goes in and they can they can straight up determine when those tapes was made, the dates and timestamps. So if that was done. And then it shows that at the time that those tapes was produced that Roshona was, you know, 18 years or older, well, guess what? That means that the tapes don't represent CP and no crimes was committed by R. Kelly. But the fact that the judge uh, put the defense in the position to where that's something that couldn't have been determined and found out that the government didn't have to provide that type of information that devastated um, R. Kelly constitutionally. You know, that severely hampered 
uh, his defense. So just wanted to go ahead and give you guys some quick thoughts on that particular issue. Uh, you guys uh, comment down below. Tell me what you think. Please like, share, and subscribe. Y'all have a good one.